Two Bears High Fiving is probably one of the most iconic New Vegas mods. Although the mod itself is relatively small, it would go on to be referenced even by the devs in New Vegas' second DLC, Honest Hearts. During the intro sequence you take a, and I'm sorry I'm gonna butcher this, a raw chat test? Anyways, Doc Mitchell will show you various ink blots and ask what you see in them. The test in real life was once used to examine someone's personality and emotional functioning, and in game it's used as another way to determine your tagged skills, narrowing it down even more. The Two Bears High Fiving mod simply adds a new dialogue option to this image, because I mean, to be fair, it does look like Two Bears High Fiving, and once you see it, it's kinda hard to see anything else. This mod garnered enough popularity that some people to this day think it's an actual thing that was patched into the game following player feedback, which it um, obviously wasn't. Although in a way, it did end up in game. Sort of. In the Honest Hearts expansion which released in May 2011, 200 days after launch, if you picked the Wild Wastelands trait when approaching the Sorrows camp for the first time, this will happen. Now it'd be pretty cool if the story ended here, a nice reference made by a developer to a relatively popular mod at the time. Unfortunately though, there's a bit more to this story. You see, if you wanted to download the original 2 Bears High Fiving mod on the Nexus now, you can't. It was taken down sometime in the past couple of weeks in protest. Now, it's not unusual for modders to remove their mods in protests of decisions made by Nexus mods. Most notably, a couple of year backs, a ton of mods were removed en masse following the announcement of collections and the removal of modders to be able to truly delete their mods, as archived versions of them would be kept for the collections feature. But, um... In this case, Nexus actually didn't do anything wrong, in fact they did a pretty good thing. If you're unaware, Nexus mods allows for a wide variety of mods. However, one thing they don't allow for obvious reasons are mods which reduce a game's base diversity. This is the reason why mods like the Spider-Man one which removed the trans flag was banned, and as well as that one weird Fallout 4 one that I'm pretty sure mutant mods covered here. Because it replaces the majority of Fallout 4's non-white characters with their white alternative. The mod also replaces some of the major female characters with males in their stead. And he claimed at some point that he just wanted Fallout 4 to have less diversity. And I've heard that the removal of these mods is what led to this one being taken down. The announcement made by the author that they were going to take down the original 2 Bears high-fiving mod was made on this tweet, which is just... yikes. In fact, his whole Twitter is just full of some of the most disgusting posts I've ever seen on the platform. Although, this reply was pretty funny. And that's where the story of the original Two Bears high-fiving mod comes to an end. But thankfully, we don't have to end the video on a downer. Because if you want Two Bears high-fiving, it's been recreated esp lessly So now you can respond with Two Bears high-fiving without losing one of your precious ESP slots. And something that's pretty cool because of this mod being literally just a text file, you can easily change what it says or fix the capitalization if that's something that bugs you. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, or maybe even become a channel member. And a huge thank you to those of you who are, your support really helps out a ton. With that being said though, I hope to see you all next time. Thank you, Ballin Kit 43. Okay. Oh, fuck it, I did. Yeah, I'm fucking pissed off.